of Nobu High School, Alice Frempon Sakodie, popularly known as Miss Sak, has stated that Ghana's development is hinged on technical education. She made this statement at the first Ghana Technical Awards Tech Fair event held to award Ghanaian youth putting technical knowledge to practice and also provide a platform to showcase their innovative works. It's magical. Ms. Sack, who was also one of the organizers for the awards ceremony, said, The event aims at inviting and exciting the youths for national development. Also, she charged Ghanaians to play their respective roles to promote and encourage technical education and practice without always looking up to governments. Our elders, our fathers, our mothers could not prepare the future for us. So we have decided to prepare the youth for the future. One day I saw a post, does the country Ghana, all the youth, their development, or do the youth, all the country, its development? And I would say, youth, I'm sorry, the country owe you development, but it has failed you. So what are you doing? Are you also going to fail yourself and fail the country? If Ghana has failed to give you development, hello youth, arise and develop the country. Let's do it for ourselves. And the only way to this is technical education. Trust me, I have a school. I operate a basic school. And the reason I started a school is because I'm passionate about national development. And I thought that starting a school and training these young ones, I could raise people to develop the country. But at a point, I have realized that I am only giving them a manual like a washing man machine that comes with a manual. I have given them the manual they would read, but would they put it to practice? And I have realized that the only way that they will put the manual to practice is through technical education. We have all come together to put this together for national development. We are preparing the youth for national development, and that is the main purpose. This is what Ghana needs to develop. This is what we need to create the Ghana we want. This is what Africa needs to achieve the Africa we want, the Agenda 2063. Now, most of the time, we talk about unemployment, youth unemployment, but the society and our own systems frown and look down upon skills, technical skills, but where people have technical skills they can put to use, which can be appreciated, unemployment would be very, very low. And the quality of life would improve for every Ghanaian. So I want to use this platform to call on the policy makers to ensure that we prioritize and reprioritize technical vocational education in Ghana and also to make sure that we give technical vocational and skills based training the right recognition and appreciation and lastly to every Ghanaian please patronize made in Ghana goods to promote skills some of the awardees expressed their delight in taking part in this award ceremony. Senior high school, I was a business student. But once I finished school, I, I saw that I had passion for something medicine. And because I was a business student, I couldn't go to nursing training or go to um, the, um, school to become a pharmacist. So when I to you introduced that course about dispensing students, it's a branch of pharmacy technician. It's a technical know-how of pharmacy 
to prepare compound medications. So when I saw that opportunity, I grabbed it and I enrolled. So that's how I went to that technical field. Yeah. The chairman of the occasion, engineer Dr. Stephen Turkson, added that the program is the right way to go. He said awarding the potentials of the youth will encourage them to go into technical vocation, education and training. Tibet. Yeah, wrong perception that if you go into Tibet, no one born. But we forget that in this world, anything that is Tibet is science. Anything that is Tibet is technology. Anything that is Tibet is engineering. But in Ghana, the youth don't want to go into Tibet because of the wrong notion and the wrong perception that when you go into Tibet, one more. So people are running out from Tibet. I nearly lost my beautiful wife because of being a carpenter. The parents will not understand that. Can a carpenter take off your child? But now they are regretting that they made that statement when I was getting married to my wife. They see now that that carpenter is a great man. Even though he doesn't have to be a carpenter, it doesn't make him a be our boy. Ghana as a country are blessed. Unfortunately, we people who have to make Ghana Ghana are run away from what to make Ghana Ghana. He believes Ghana as a country will benefit from this. He advised parents to encourage their wards to go into Tibet. He said this will guarantee them jobs through the application of skills acquired through such trainings. So Tibet is a way to go as a country where we can solve a lot of our own employment situation. Countries have used Tibet to solve their problem. I think Ghana has also the potential that we can uh, allow our youth and the young adults to go into tank and vocational education training, and that will help us a lot. This uh, program, I think, will also help the youth to see the need to go into TV by awarding their potential, awarding their energy and making creativity. And when they are recognizing this, a lot of people have that misconception that TV is for non-achievers and failures. That will change. And a lot of them will come to TV. And then uh, our country as a country, as a, as a, Ghana as a country, will, will enjoy the fruit of the people going to TV. It's a wrong perception that we have to, especially through this program, try to uh, change it. Because people going to Tibet are the people who are making life. Unemployment can, 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 can go to nothing when people, a lot of people going to Tibet. My advice to parents that they should encourage you to go into Tibet. Because when they have the skills, they can create their own jobs. They don't have, they don't have to depend upon government on what to employ them. They can employ themselves and employ others. Because when you go to Tibet, you get the skills, and also the entrepreneurship development is part of it. And that helps you to equip the skills, knowledge, and even the soft skills that you're able to communicate, you're able to work and make the best out of your life. So Tibet is the way to go. Thank you for watching Nation One TV. Kindly subscribe for more news updates.